hello guys welcome to a brand new tutorial in this tutorial we're going to learn flask integrating uh, flask i mean consuming flask with Raj. so what i'm doing is just basic uh, import then we want to run flask directly from uh, the terminal so i'll say uh, app dot run I'll provide host now oh, because I want it to be reachable from my IP I'll put zero then I'll change my port to 3400 yes or is 34 in my mind yes let me do that then we'll say debug is true so we can be able to see if there will be any error uh, from there we'll just type our first route so our home route then followed by the home method so we return hello world and uh, I think it's okay so we can just run it but first of all let us install pip so we'll go I mean flask so pip3 I'm using Python 3 yeah so install it pip. then we run in Python good I'm using Python 3 so don't uh, use any other and then we get errors so let us test our route using uh, postman so 3400 and boom works so we have our hello world let me create a collection for this so that one correct now once our hello world is working now it's time for us to jump and do the Raja stuff here yeah? so the first thing that I'll write here is uh, the access token now I'll introduce my Mpesa or the Raja variables up here so I don't keep repeating them everywhere so say as the details so we have a consumer key and the consumer secret I just copy this uh, from my other video or my uh, the larger portal if you don't know how to get them <clears throat> there is a video that I've done in PHP which um, the very first one I think the second which shows you how to get it so our route will be access token then I'll write a method on token so I'll provide here the URL the endpoint for Mpesa let me space zoom in a little good uh, I think that's usable uh, the next thing is I'll now make a request and we don't have the package for making the request so I'll import it I've also not installed it so we'll import as well as install it but before I'll just show you how or the error that you will get if you import a package that does not exist or a module that does not exist so if I run you'll see that no module called request see this error so we'll first of all uh, install it so pip3 install requests this is what we'll use to make uh, request to mpesa api so if you run now it's okay now we can go ahead and write requests dot get then we'll provide uh, the mpesa url so i'll copy I'll just that one then we'll need to provide the header yeah so in this case let me just do it very simple so we'll, we go and import the http header or we bring it into our project there's a better way uh, this is just for very basic and beginner so requests dot help from requests http basic help good now we can go ahead no errors uh, so HTTP basic help, and then we pass our consumer key and the consumer secret. Python is very simple, not like any other language. Then we'll need to 
say what this is so this is the authentication huh? so right here out start here then i want to save this in a variable then i also want to get the json body so that's json there great uh i think we are done so let me let us just see what that data contains here yeah? so that return data and okay so let's fire up our Yes, first of all those details consumer key and consumer secret then let's go to postman and test that route so oh, we had the path oh, sorry then go to postman and this time we create a new one so say access token and there you go we now have the access token. Uh, we can also get the access token by itself. So by accessing it this way, and when you do that, you will get the access token. So the next, I would like us to remove this data from here because I want us to have a function that we will be able to access when we are doing other uh, details. So we'll just copy the board there and then we'll save that into a data variable so that will be the access token method and return the data now this is python so we have to remove these brackets here good now let's see whether we still have the same uh, result good now that's all for today kindly subscribe and let's meet uh, in our next class